Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'll show you the colours I'm wearing. So I'm kind of gonna base my eyeshadow on what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this skirt and I want to match my eyes to that kind of i'm gonna match my eyes to that kind of color i've actually got revolution in c8 on me which i'm gonna to use today i really love this concealer it's slightly tanned and it gives you that natural glow it doesn't make you look over tanned it gives you that natural glow so i'm gonna be using that today so i haven't heat treated my hair or anything today I literally just brushed out last night um i used some revolution hair mask revolution shampoo and yeah so i literally just brushed it out today and just left it natural my brows aren't done my concealer's not done my foundation's not done lips aren't done nothing's done just gonna go in and yeah i'm going in with this this is the revolution irl filter finish i actually received this as a freebie from revolution when i placed my order I'm going in with, I think this is C01, C01. As you can see, I have started using it. This colour, I would say, is a little bit too pale for me, but what I do is I use it under my eyes just to give it a bit of that under eye glow. So I'm just going to pat it on using my fingers, and then I'm going to go in and cover up hyperpigmentation. I'm going in with my marshmallow sponge from Revolution. And I'm just going to blend that in. I'm literally just using my camera as a mirror right now. It has given me more of a pale complexion. But it has really covered up any dark circles it's really done a good job but it's not a problem because you can use this as like a base to cover up any unwanted dark circles and then you can go in with your preferred shade of foundation or concealer or anything like that afterwards i must say 10 out of 10 from me with this concealer although this shade is a little bit too light for me it still really pops and stands out Now I'm going to be going in with Revolution C8. So we're just going to go in, almost like contour it, if that makes sense. Just to bring a little bit of colour. A little bit there and then maybe a bit there. And then a little bit here. Just to bring a little bit of colour into that. Now I'm just going in with Revolution Super Base. You always use this over my eyes. Because normally if I don't, well, I say normally, but if I don't ever put a primer on, I always get eyeshadow in my eye crease, always here, and it's super, super frustrating. So you just got to like blend it all over. It kind of gives you a nice... It kind of it kind of gives you a nice base color as well so you've got like a natural glow now i'm going in with revolution pro in what color is this again ash brown this is such a nice this is such a good brow is it brow yeah brow pomade it's really really good i normally um use like a face mist or something just to just to make it easier to apply i normally go in with a prep mist or a face mist just to make it easier to apply i'm going in with west barn co prep mist in coconut i'm actually running out of this but you just want to give it one spray just like that oh god i can smell it from here it just smells like fresh coconuts am i the only one who loves the smell of coconut but doesn't actually like coconuts that much <laughs> But yeah, the brush I am using is from Eco Tools. So yeah, when I was a teenager, I overplucked my brows. 
and now they've got to that point where they don't really want to grow back or they kind of grow here and don't grow here just want to make them look naturally thicker as you can see like this bit's fine but this bit it's kind of like doesn't really it just doesn't want to grow just going a little bit more on that one i'm going in with this forever flawless allure palette from revolution and i'm going in with the shade seduction which is here I'm just going in with my Revolution Neon Eyeshadow Brush and I'm just going to go in with that. Maybe slightly go in under your eyes now i'm gonna blend that all in now i'm going in with doll candy eyes this is by doll beauty it's like a gorgeous shimmer we all love a bit of shimmer and now using the same brush i applied the color with i am going in with some shimmer Just go in with the inner corner of your eyes. Now I'm going in with a little bit of highlight. This is the Revolution Gingy Highlighter. Oh, I swear, it smells kind of gingery too. Look how cool that is. So cute, isn't it? So I'm just going to highlight and then just a little bit there and there next i am using role model from primark this is actually one of my favorite mascaras Serum Mist from Barry M. This is actually coconut as well. Now I'm going in with my lip colour. This one is the matte colour from Revolution in Cupcake. This colour is quite close to what I've got on my eyes and my outfit. But because I've kept it quite subtle today, I wanted to go for like a bold lip colour. So you literally just need like the tiniest amount. As you can see, it's a gorgeous matte colour. And it really, really goes with today's look. Now I'm just going to put my earrings in. These are from, am I pronouncing it right? Abbott Lion? Abbott Lion? <laughs> Is it Abbott Lion? But yeah, I got these for Christmas from my husband. I absolutely love them. They're like gold with little, they're like gold with little stars on them. They are super cute. So I'm just popping those in as well. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. If you want to see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.